Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain Television with Esther Galoom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received at Gudabia Palace today a number of representatives and Shura Council members and senior state officials. His Royal Highness highlighted the awareness of the people of Bahrain in dealing with divisive conspiracies, commending their honourable stances in defending their homeland. He called for greater national unity to protect the kingdom and its people from all dangers and threats. He noted Bahrain's political and economic achievements, highlighting the performance of the Shura, representatives and municipal councils in the fields of monitoring, legislation and services. The Prime Minister affirmed the government's commitment to enhancing cooperation with the Parliament. He stressed the pivotal role of the Bahraini workforce in the national process, affirming the importance of human resources in the development of civilizations. His Royal Highness confirmed the government's keenness to provide a suitable environment for Bahraini staff to flourish. He reaffirmed that the satisfaction of the people is the government's ambition and is the goal of its strategies and projects. He said he hoped to increase field visits to projects across Bahrain, ensure the provision of services in all of the country's cities and villages in order to ensure the best quality services for the people.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, chaired at Gudabia Palace today the weekly cabinet meeting. His Royal Highness directed that least public schools should consist of high quality buildings and facilities in accordance with government approved specifications for educational facilities. He briefed the cabinet on his visit to Sanaba's village and his inspection of its facilities. His Royal Highness delegated the Ministry of Education to study the capacity of primary schools in Galali in order to provide current and future needs for its residents. His Royal Highness also delegated the Ministerial Committee for Reconstruction and Infrastructure to coordinate with other ministries and government bodies to follow up on plans for developing the area between the Sheikh Issa and Sheikh Hamid causeways and directed the same Ministerial Committee to come up with name recommendations for the area. The Cabinet then looked into preparations for the Hajj to ensure the best services for Bahraini pilgrims. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments briefed the Cabinet on the procedures and preparations taken while the Health Minister outlined the necessary preventative measures. On the occasion of International Youth Day, His Royal Highness hailed the role of Bahrain's youth in achieving sustainable development goals, expressing confidence in their abilities and contributions in various fields. He affirmed the government's keenness to provide their needs and enhance their capabilities. His Royal Highness then praised the role of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, in nurturing and motivating Bahraini youngsters. His Royal Highness also hailed the efforts of the Ministry of Youth and Sports in implementing the government strategy for enhancing the youth sector. His Royal Highness then stressed the importance of individual privacy and of establishing the necessary measurements to prevent breaches. The Cabinet approved implementation of applying global standards for automatic exchange of tax effective 2018. The Cabinet approved a total of 11 agreements and MOUs, including five agreements and MOUs with Turkey in the fields of education, commerce and sports, and another three MOUs with Pakistan on agriculture, marine resources and sports. The Cabinet also signed two agreements with Russia in the fields of economy, science and information exchange security. The Cabinet approved a draft law on protecting GCC consumers and directed the concerned bodies to take the necessary legal measures. The Cabinet approved an MOU to bolster friendship ties between Manama Bahrain and Shenzhen, China. The Cabinet affirmed the government's keenness to maintain the process of developing the country and enhancing its economy. This came after the Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning presented a report on tenders during the second quarter of 2016. 26 tenders were put forward, worth around 15 million Bahrain dinars, and 16 tenders were approved, worth around 23.5 million dinars. The Cabinet approved a number of measures taken to support clearing agencies. The Cabinet referred two draft laws to the Representatives' Council regarding the Council's bylaws and another on amending laws of Bahrain Central Bank. The Cabinet then discussed a number of proposals from the Representatives' Council. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, has dedicated the Bahrain Endurance Team 13's unprecedented victory in the Ironman 70.3 European Championship in Wiesbaden in Germany to His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. Over 2,000 participants from around the world took part in the event, including 11 members of the Bahrain Endurance Team 13. Leading the team to victory was His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, who attributed the achievement to the huge support extended by His Majesty the King to the youth and sports in the Kingdom of Bahrain, and affirmed that dedicating this victory to His Majesty was a token of appreciation for his backing the sports and youth. He also said this achievement would motivate all athletes in Bahrain to give their all and lift the Kingdom's flag high in all events. He explained that the success in Germany followed intensive preparations by the team in order to enhance the Kingdom's position internationally. His Highness expressed appreciation to his teammates for their efforts throughout the event. The competition began with a 1.9 km swim, a 90 km cycling phase and ended with a 21 km running race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser completed the race in 5 hours, 11 minutes and 59 seconds. It's worth noting that this is the team's second participation in a Germany Ironman competition, the first being in Berlin in 2014.
A celebration was held to honour the winners of Ironman 70.3, which was attended by the Bahrain team, led by His Highness Sheikh Nasser. His Highness stressed that this achievement was a source of pride for Bahrain's sports sector and adds to the series of achievements made by Bahrain in various fields. His Highness affirmed that this success had been achieved thanks to the unwavering support of His Majesty the King. He added that this accomplishment was proof of the strenuous efforts and determination of the Bahrain team to have a positive presence in various championships. His Highness then praised the efforts of the team members, hailing their high spirits. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, congratulated the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, on the Bahrain Endurance 13 team's unprecedented triumph in the team category of Ironman 70.3 Wiesbaden, Germany. The Bahrain team stormed a victory in the event, which was held in southwestern Germany, to win a distinctive achievement. His Highness Sheikh Khalid commended the team's performance during the event, affirming that support of the wise leadership to the sports and youth movement in the Kingdom of Bahrain had been a major contributor to enabling Bahrain's athletes to prosper at different platforms across the world. He said that Bahrain's honourable results in this championship reflect the extraordinary efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa in translating the vision and directions of the wise leadership by designing and implementing development programmes and plans in order to continue constructing and developing the youth and sports sectors. Praising the team's performance under the guidance of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid in Ironman 70.3 Wiesbaden, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid said it reflected the team's strenuous preparations for the event. Now it's time for the latest business news with Barra and more acquisitions for InvestCorp, I believe. They are really expanding. Coming up in the business news. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain TV. Bahrain-based private equity investor InvestCorp, together with its portfolio company SecureLink Group, acquired the UK's largest independent cybersecurity service provider, Nebula Solutions. The recent acquisition of Corsac, SecureLink and Nebula will operate across six countries in Europe, employ over 550 members of staff and generate more than 235 million euros in revenue. Over the last 12 months, InvestCorp's European corporate investment team has witnessed its most active investment period since the inception of the firm, having signed five new deals and successfully exiting new nine portfolio companies. Just under two months ago, InvestCorp announced the acquisitions of Corsac and leading luxury Italian menswear brand Corleone. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,159.33 points, an increase of 1.61 points above yesterday's closing. The rise was in the commercial banking investment sector. Investors traded in the commercial bank sector, representing 44% of the total value of shares traded. Results indicated that 58 equity transactions took place with a volume of 3,387,686 shares, worth a total value of 446,707 Bahraini And dinars. now it's time for the latest sports news with Mohammed and Olympics. Usain Bolt, I hope. Usain Bolt and a medal for Bahrain as well. Excellent.
Good evening and welcome to the Sports News on Bahrain TV. Isa Town Youth Center will take on Central Youth Center, who are also looking for their first win. Sanabas Youth Center, who won against Al Bahir Youth Center 5 0 due to a technicality when Al Bahir included a player who is disqualified, will face Senad, who are looking to recover from their first match loss. In the fourth match, Al Bahir will face fierce competition from Karbabad Youth Center, who defeated Senad 8 2. 